Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm standing outside of our cut flower garden right now, right by the row of giant sunflowers. See all those beautiful things behind me? The variety is large gray striped, planted in mid-June. They've done beautifully, they grew huge. Uh, and today I wanna harvest some of the seeds, both for us for eating and for our bird feeders. So a little backed up perspective here. We have a very overcast morning. It is now 47 degrees outside. It's beautiful actually. But you can see this huge row here. Now I don't intend on harvesting every little bit. I'm gonna actually leave some of them just on the plants for the birds, but that's the thing. You wanna get them off the plant and in storage before wildlife gets to them. And squirrels will eat them, birds will eat them, mice will eat them. So far, I haven't had much activity on this variety. The rest of this patch, which has seen better days, just gets loaded up with birds. They've been feeding like crazy. In fact, I think this will be the last plant the last crop that we remove from this area just because it's so fun to see the birds foraging. So basically I'm going to be looking for sunflower heads that are mature and are ready to be picked so I thought we would go through what to look for. This one right in the corner is kind of a perfect example. The large gray striped variety typically produces heads to up to 20 to 24 inches across. This is a really nice example right here and it's showing perfect signs of maturity. Uh, you wanna wait till the back of the sunflower head is kind of starting to turn yellow. They'll start to get little brown spots like this. This is dirt right here. But over here you can see some actual brown spots that are part of the flower. You can also look for petals. See how these are all desiccated, like it's done, they're dried up. And I was looking at these seeds yesterday and they're starting to feel a little bit loose. So we wanna make sure to get after this before they start falling on the ground and other things start eating them. So let me clip this off so we can take a better look at it from up above. <laughs> it's kinda of hard pointing it this way. Look at this beast. It is so huge. I mean, compared to the size of my hand here, and this is what I was noticing yesterday, and I thought, oh, I gotta get out here. They're starting to get loose, so it's time. And the interesting thing about sunflowers, like they have their outer petals right here, um, which is what we typically call the, the sunflower, like that's the flower part. But the middle part here, if you look closely, the little things on top of all these seeds, which just kind of, you can rub them right off, they're actually little itty bitty flowers. And each one of them has both male and female parts. Uh, so they each have the potential to form a seed underneath them. Isn't that interesting? So first thing we're gonna do is just roll all of these off. This is just kind of considered chaff at this point. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, just so many seeds right here. And other than the fact that you wanna get them harvested before wildlife starts trying to eat on them, uh, you don't wanna let them dry down too much on the plant if you're wanting to roast them, which I'm not gonna be doing. I've actually never done that before, um, but I know that you can harvest them and put them in a brine and then roast them if that's what you wanna do. Um, I'm mostly, I mean, we're gonna be eating some of them and I'm just gonna store them. Like I'll take them off the sunflower head and let them dry out a little bit. Uh, just in a single layer and then they'll just go in jars airtight jars to store um, and we use them on salads and things like that uh, but most of them i'll probably be using as bird feed this winter so before i get too far i want to go through and just see which ones of these are ready and which ones are not like if we take a close look they're not all the same size but like this one looks really good here you can see the signs telltale signs there the yellowing with the brown spots yeah, the seeds look really good. See that right there, they've got nice striping. If you don't see the striping there or if they're not fully colored how they should be, then you know they're not mature enough. Like this one here is looking pretty green still, so I'll probably leave this one 
and the seeds haven't formed their color quite as good yet. You, if you look up in there, they're a little bit more pale. This one looks good. Look at that. Nice and yellow, fully desiccated petals. Oh my. But this one has no striping at all. That's interesting. And if you're in a situation, like if you've got some that are ready and some that aren't, you can cut the um, sunflower heads when about like half to two thirds of the seeds look mature and ready. And you can hang them to dry, just put like a bag over the sunflower head, like a paper bag or a mesh bag or something like that and hang them up somewhere like in a shed uh, to finish their drying process. But I think quite a number of these are ready. So I'm just gonna kind of pick through uh, and then once we get them all cleaned off out here, I'll leave all of the, the junk and the leaves and stuff out here. We'll take them to a table and get all the seeds off of the sunflower heads. So I just came across this one. Look at the color of these seeds. Like all the rest of them have a very, you know, white, like typical white with the black striping. These are charcoal gray with black striping. Planted in the same row. Those are gorgeous. Wow, so pretty. So this is what I've got so far, which will keep me busy for a little while, getting all of these seeds out. Some of them are tighter than others, like this one's really loose, which is almost to the point of being too loose. And then things like this, where they're a little tighter, I'll just break the sunflower head into like more manageable size pieces, and then they'll be easy to get out. I honestly think the rest of these could use a tiny bit more time. There might be a few more here. Um, but I think I'm gonna give a couple to the chickens. My parents used to just harvest the sunflowers heads and just lay them flat on a surface somewhere outside and the birds would just come and devour them. So I think I will give the chickens some, which I think the black oil type sunflower seeds, like the darker colored seeds are higher in oil and protein and all that. So they're like a healthier supplement for chickens, but I think that they'll like these just the same. You also wanna be careful because see those right there? A couple wasps. They're not moving very fast, but I've been stung once today so far. They like to hide out under these smaller leaves underneath the sunflower head. Okay, <laughs> I think we're safe. Oh yeah, that looks great. And many of them are a lot looser toward the edges. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this morning's harvest anyway. So let's take them back to the house or somewhere near the house and get all those seeds out. All right, so I'm all set up. What I've got are some trays. These are from the harvest rack from Gardener Supply that I've got. And then I just put a single layer of burlap, which is a real breathable material. And what I'm gonna do is just 
you know, take all of these out, which a lot of times you can get them out just like that and it's really easy. And then other times you might have to break these into smaller pieces in order to kind of get at the seeds if they're too tight. But there is some moisture still left in these and we wanna make sure that all the moisture has dried before we store them. So I'll just spread these out in a thin-ish layer on top of this piece of burlap and I've got another tray here. We'll let them sit out overnight. Usually it's like 24 hours and they've dried up just enough to store in airtight containers. Some people will actually rinse their seeds before they lay them out to dry. We don't spray with anything out there. They've never been touched with anything but probably a little bit of dust from the wind. Um, so I don't like to add any extra moisture in if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna start working on getting all of these seeds removed and we'll take a look in the end. See how many we get from these. How many did I pick? 19, 20, 21. Here we go. Look at this, two really full trays of the most beautiful sunflower seeds. And this one's really pretty too with that charcoal colored one mixed in. And I'm sure there's some kind of special tool that one could use or maybe gloves perhaps to remove the leaves so you don't wreck your hands, but that's just not how I roll. This took me about an hour to remove all the seeds from 20 sunflower heads. I did save one right here. It was the least mature one that I picked. I just kind of didn't realize the coloring wasn't as good. So I'll give this one to the chickens. This is the refuse from today. The inside of a sunflower is really interesting. It's like super spongy and kind of damp, like cotton almost, like wet cotton. So what I will do with these, since I did do a kind of a thick layer, I'll bring them inside and set them on the counter and then I'll stir them occasionally just with my hands just to make sure that air is making it through the whole batch. And I'll probably let them sit on the counter for a couple of days just to ensure that they're completely dry before I package them up. And at that point, I'll either do some airtight containers, jars, or even like Ziploc bags to store these things. And I might even try roasting some. I'm not sure yet. I've never given that a shot, but I think it would be kind of fun. Um, I do have a lot more sunflowers to harvest out there. I think they'll just take a little bit more time. Not much though, but I mean, given the fact that these were planted in June, I'm really happy that I was able to harvest some really mature, like big sunflower seeds. Uh, so anyway, I think we should go give this one to the chickens and see what they think. Hey girls, I only see one of you. Where are the rest of you? Look what I have. Hey, I have some sunflower seeds out there for you. Are you trying to lay on the eggs again? Am I gonna have to do some extraction of eggs? Probably. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt you. It's a sunflower. Well, the girls are completely unimpressed by my sunflower so far. Hey, I grew that. You guys should enjoy it. I think they just need a second to decide that it's a safe thing to approach. All right, guys, well, that is going to be it for today. I just wanted to show you the sunflowers, what to look for, to know when they're ripe and ready to harvest, and then just the process I go through to get them to this stage right here. It's a super satisfying thing to do. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a really good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <gasps> Benjamin, what do you think of the sunflower seeds? What do you think of those? Doesn't that feel cool, buddy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good job. <laughs> like to dig right in, huh, bud? Have you ever eaten a sunflower seed, baby? Let me show you how to do it. Let me find a nice big, big one. Good job. You are my kind of boy, bud. Do 
need help? <laughs> okay. Do it by myself. Mama, do it by herself? Is that what you just said? Okay. Okay, what? All right, here we go. That wasn't too bad, bud. Not too bad. No. I'm doing it myself. <gasps> Benjamin. <laughs> Did you do it again? Up, like that. And some of these round 